to our weekend vlog. A beautiful weekend here in Phoenix. Um, temperatures mid 70s. It's kind of beautiful out. Um, it is a Friday afternoon going to evening though. We're about ready to head up to watch Mason play some baseball. So I'm gonna kind of explain what he's been doing. So coach is calling this the Winter World Series. So Mason is technically like coaching a team, but also playing. So he had, he divided his seniors up and then they had to do like a draft. So Mason picked his players out of everybody in the, the baseball program. And um, besides the seniors, those were the, the coach, you know, divided them evenly or by positions or whatever. And then Mason had to draft from there on out. So yesterday was their first game. Jack and I did not go because we weren't for sure if parents were allowed. Although definitely some parents were there. In fact, a parent got some film for us so we could put it in our vlog. So thank you for that. And then we got the text from coach last night saying parents are definitely welcome. So with that being said, we're definitely going, but we didn't want to step on Mason's toes, embarrass him, be those parents, you know, <laughs> be the weirdos that show up. So we're excited because anytime we get to watch Mason play baseball, we're there. You guys know that. So and we're about to. Yeah, you guys are, yeah. So I probably will, um, I, I thought about taking the night off, but I did bring our baseball camera, so I'll try to get some clips. Take a few, not a million. Like we'll, we'll see, we'll see what I do, but yeah, I'm excited. So we're headed out to go watch Coach Mason <laughs> coach his baseball team. There you go, bud. Oh, Carter caught it. New picture. Let's go! Get rid of it! He's off! They just tied it. Mason's game and quickly getting a quick dinner going here but that was so fun and I'm so glad that we went and that the parents could participate in watching that because Mason so obviously he's played with the same kids for years but those kids might have been on the other team that he was versing so at one point you know Mason was holding on and like on first base because they're on opposite teams or um, his other good friend was on the other team and pitching at the end there, so it was fun. I had a good time. I, but it's like, we didn't know who to cheer, cheer for, right, Jack? <laughs> All of them. Yeah. And it was also fun to see the younger kids, like the freshmen, sophomores, participating and getting to play with the older boys, so. And then, <laughs> to watch my kid um, try to, you know, be a, a manager or a coach, and making lineup changes and pitching changes and at one point he decided to put the runner on first it was just it was fun to see he was laughing he was smiling i think he enjoyed himself what do you think oh yeah it was awesome <laughs> so i was fun. enjoying watching coach mason <laughs> <laughs> coach bevo all right got to finish making some dinner um mason should be coming in the door any moment unless they decide to go out to dinner which is what they did last night so we'll see about that um but i think one more day of games for them for 
the World Series tomorrow, so should be fun. But all right, my stomach's growling and I need to get to my salad. Yes. Good morning, Coach Bevo. Yes. Eating some protein pancakes. Breakfast of coaches, I guess. <laughs> Did you have fun yesterday? I don't think we ever vlogged you after your game because he ended up going, well, they talked in the parking lot forever with his teammates, friends, and then they ended up going out to dinner. So it is Saturday. Good morning. Happy Saturday. We're waking up. Mason is ready to head to his game. Um, I don't know if there'll be any footage of his game because since he is the coach, he's making lineups and everything, he decided to sit this one out. I think both coaches are not going to play and they're just going to let other kids play and that kind of stuff. So I think Jack and I still might go and maybe get a clip of him coaching like because he's going to have to coach third or whatever. But um, so yeah, it is what it is, but I think it's fun that he's going to focus on the coaching part and not the playing part. So good luck. Have fun. Do your best. How's your pancakes? They're the pa uh, what are they? Protein pancakes from Aldi, so. I'll be there if you need any coaching tips. <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> All right, we'll see you at the fields, bud. It's <laughs> giving sides. That's why you get more. That's awesome. All right, Mason's coaching days are done. <laughs> Coaches go into shortstop. Good idea. Well, you guys, once again, it was so fun to watch Mason, even though he didn't really play a whole lot of baseball today, but to watch him coach, <laughs> calling timeouts and all the things, it was funny. He even um, brought out Jack's fungo bat, <laughs> so he definitely looked the part. I, I think it was awesome. I hope the coach continues to do this every year. I know this is Mason's last year, but I think it just brings the boys together, kind of makes them relax before tryouts and like I said, the younger kids getting to interact with the older kids is always so fun. So we've been home for a little bit. Mason actually went out to lunch with all of his teammates and then um, Jack, I think he has a big draft coming up. Is that what you got going on? Oh, it's not till March. He's getting ahead of it. He He's doing some studying. Dynasty League, so. Oh, his, di know. his dynasty team for um, baseball. baseball. So that'll be coming up, I guess, in March. So he's just taking notes and I think figuring out which players he wants and that kind of stuff. But now it is time to head out once again because that guy right there is stinky and <laughs> he's due for a bath and we, last time we gave him a bath, we used all of his shampoo and conditioner. So we're gonna head out, grab that. We originally were gonna go to Scottsdale today to do some shopping like baseballism and stuff like that. A, cause the weather is beautiful. But then it's Barrett Jackson, so if we went one way, the traffic would have been bad, and if we would have gone the other way, the freeways are closed. So I'm like, maybe it's not the best weekend to go to Scottsdale to do some shopping, so we might put that off. Plus, we wanted to watch Mason coach this morning, so half of our day is gone and over with. But for right now, we're off to do a little shopping on our side of town. Well guys, once again, I'm a terrible vlogger. Shame on me. We just shopped and bought the most random things. We did get shampoo and conditioner for Ace. Picked him up some more dog food because it was on sale. So when we get home, we will show you everything. Um, but right now, we're gonna go get a soda and some cookies. It's Dr. Pepper with peach, vanilla, and cream. It's my go-to. It's the Kimbo, I think. You got raspberry. I got a Reggie. A raspberry Reggie. Raspberry and lime. And where's those cookies? And right here. We know you got the cookies. We are back home. Don't mind Ace. He's eating his dinner. So if you hear chomping in the background, it's the dog. Uh, Mason is getting dressed. Looks like he's going out for the evening. So 
So that means Jack and I, I don't know, we might have like a little dinner date or something. Although we got dessert, <laughs> we had to get cookies while we were there because Mason loves them. I think this is the only thing we got, Mason, though. You guys, so yum. We really need to start eating better. Oh well, maybe next month. <laughs> and then of course we got our soda, so good. So there you go. Ace's shampoo and conditioner. I got myself, you know, I'm thinking fall, spring. Got myself a new little cup. That's for you. Mint, oh, got, hey, hey uh, Mason. Got him a new cord for his phone to charge. Some towels for St. Patty's Day. Some more socks. Can't see that. That's for an Easter basket. For this guy. This <laughs> was the deal of the day. Deal of the day. What are the odds? Eight bucks. Eight dollars at Ross. Love it. Couldn't pass that up. I don't know what this oh, is. Oh, those are shorts for me. Thinking spring, time for shorts. And some workout pants. What else? Oh no, the best thing. Oh yeah. You saved the best thing for last. Mace, wait till you see this. Oh, and then we got this at Ross. <laughs> we had to come home. Wow. We came home with a bunny. <laughs> for Isn't Easter, he cute? Huh? Oh, yeah. Aw. So that was at Home Goods. There you go. There's our random little shopping. We, like I said, we wanted to go to Scottsdale, enjoy the weather. We just did some shopping around here and got random stuff um, that we probably didn't need but we ended up with, anyways. <laughs> you have fun tonight, you going out? Yeah, you jealous of dad's $8 hat? Would it I mean, fit you? No. No? It would, but I'm not gonna wear it. You're not gonna steal it from him? <laughs> That's right, you might have. He's, he's already got a Philly's hat on. But he said he didn't have a blue one, so. I told him to buy it. There you go. That's like a $30 hat and all this stuff. Good deal, Dad. Deal of the day. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday fun day. A big football Sunday fun day. Who's excited to watch football all day? I'm hoping for really good games. Definitely rooting for Ravens in the first game and Detroit Lions in the second game. Don't know why, that's just who I'm rooting for. Don't judge me. But breakfast is ready. I got busy, I made homemade drop biscuits. Hopefully they turned out good. And homemade white gravy to go on top of the biscuits. That's what we're having for breakfast this morning. And then I think next on the plans is giving Ace a bath. And then I need to get to the grocery store and figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight and what we're gonna eat all day watching football. So, all right, these biscuits are calling my name. Jack, breakfast is ready. There's a clean Ace, huh? Clean boy. And all of the groceries. You can tell it's football Sunday, you guys. Chips, hot sauce, guacamole. Oh yeah, it's happening. A little update. First of all, congratulations to you Chiefs fans. You are going to the Super Bowl. You're headed to Las Vegas. <laughs> That's exciting for you guys. Um, obviously not the team I was rooting for, but it was still a pretty good game, so I'll take that. Right now, the Lions are up, so looking good for them. Dinner is in the Instant Pot. I would show you, but it's doing its thing, you know? But this is what it looks like. That's what we're going for. We've had it before, Instant Pot Hamburger Helper. It's made with these, which I love, the chickpea. So yummy. Extra protein. What do we got, about three more minutes on that? And then I guess, go Lions! Although our neighbors are huge 49ers fans, so. Yeah, I feel bad for them. I do feel bad for them, but I am excited if the Lions can pull this out. Although Jack was saying the Super Bowl, like it would probably be better if the 49ers versus the Chiefs, but you never know. You what never know. The world. We will see. A lot of time left. Eight of minutes. Time. Yeah, a lot of time left, so we will see. But we'll have a little dinner and finish watching some football, see what happens. Well, you guys, <laughs> that game, <laughs> what just happened? Detroit. So both teams that I was rooting for today ended up losing, but it was a good day of watching football. Both games were great. Dinner was great, great weekend. Who do you guys have winning in the Super Bowl? The Chiefs or the 49ers? 
I just asked Mason and he said, mm, Usher, because <laughs> that's gonna be the halftime show apparently, so. But that's it, there we go. Chiefs versus the 49ers for the Super Bowl. And on that note, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. It's been a great weekend. But it's Monday tomorrow, back to the grind. So don't forget to like this video, comment something in the comment section, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.